Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Behind the Movement. My name is Christian Peverelli. I'm the co-founder of We Are No Code. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what no code tools you should be using to build your startup idea. First of all, for those of you who do not know what no code is, no code is this innovative new way of building software that doesn't require learning how to code. It does not require learning coding language at all. It allows you to basically drag and drop functionalities, come up with the logic in plain English and tell the software what you want it to do for you. To begin with this, I'd like to say that there are so many platforms out there that consider themselves no code platforms, no code tools, and they're all kind of better for different scenarios. Some are better for early stages stage entrepreneurship because they allow you to iterate very quickly. Others in terms of like functionalities, you can go deeper. So there isn't really kind of like a global understanding or like there's not really consensus around which one of these tools is the best tool. But I'd like to bring up a couple of the ones that we really love at We Are No Code and tell you what kind of use cases they can really cover. The first tool I'd like to cover is Webflow. Now this is a tool that allows you to build some of the most beautiful experiences online quickly and effectively. You can build anything from a website to a SaaS platform or software as a service platform. And it's really powerful because it allows you to build these really, really beautiful experiences to try to onboard customers. So when we talk about sort of putting an offer in front of someone, whether it be through marketing or actually through sales or business development, this can be a tool that allows you to be very flexible. It's pretty much like a designer. So think of it like a Photoshop that you actually are building software inside of. And so you have full control, you have beautiful sort of animations that are possible. You can connect it to other platforms as well, like Airtable, MemberStack, Zapier, all these different platforms that allow you to even build it into uh, Airbnbs, for example, or other platforms. The next platform that I really wanted to mention is Bubble. So bubble.io. So this is a platform essentially that probably has the deepest functionalities when it comes to building software. So it allows you to connect to a lot of other different services through what we call API connections. It also allows you to use its marketplace of widgets to be able to leverage third party technology within your stack. So this is mainly for web apps and progressive web apps. Happy to sort of talk a little bit more about those in detail in this, another video. But essentially, this is where some of the most powerful no code uh, sort of apps are built on. So I would definitely recommend for you to check that out. Another no code tool I'd like to mention here is Adalo. Adalo is the most powerful native mobile first app builder. So if you're looking to build an app and you want more functionalities that you might find on some of the other platforms out there, I recommend looking at Adalo. Now again, depending on what you're building, it's going to totally influence your choice of tools. But also in early stages of building companies, you don't necessarily need to build incredibly complex software. You can actually go ahead and make it seem like you've built out everything, like you figured everything out and you're a tech first company while you are testing your value proposition or essentially the value that you give to your customers. For that, you can really just build basic uh, software, put it in the market, see if people are willing to take an action that proves that they want to buy from you and then you can take it from there. Another very powerful platform is called Airtable. It is a database that can also be leveraged, do all types of data analytics to feed front end experiences like Webflow or like Softer. It also gives you the ability to build incredibly powerful internal tools specifically for management. You can create sort of Trello boards, you can create uh, sales pipelines, you can create all types of things within Airtable. It's very, very flexible and powerful as well. A couple other app builders that are worth mentioning. Softer is one of the newer ones. We also have Glide, which allows you to build uh, apps very easily. Now, the functionalities that you can build out are a little bit more simplistic, but the, the ease of use is so beautiful. We also have MyV1, which is an app builder. We have Thunkable, another mobile first app builder, and a huge variety of other no-code tools. So before you really jump into building out a product and building out a product too far before you even realize whether or not it's going to stick in the market, I really recommend for you to go and basically build out that customer base at the same time that you are building the software itself. And in that way, you can have them join and create a business law. 
<laughs> which is oftentimes is what we're all looking for, right? We're not necessarily looking to, uh, you know, just build an app that no one's going to use. And unfortunately, most people get lost in that process of going from, I have this awesome idea and then being like, I don't know how to code. I'm going to hire someone super expensive and, uh, I'm then going to have an app and then I'm going to bring it to market, realize the people who I thought were going to want to use it don't actually want to use it. It can be a huge problem. It's actually the number one reason why startups fail. So in 43% of cases, startups are failing because there is no market need. So please don't fall in that same little trap. I recommend for you to focus in on the problem to begin with and then to figure out what tools you want to use first, what tools you want to use next, and uh, basically take it a step at a time. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one and make sure to slam on that subscribe button as well as on the notifications. This is Behind the Movement. My name is Christian Pevarelli. Let's go.